Because if you type in Jesus right now Bring it up. on Google, Bring it what you going to see? Wake him up. Hey, you going to do it right now. Let's do it right now for the people. You type in Jesus on Google, what you going to see? And then let's see what the Bible says afterwards. So show, let's show the people. Let's show the people what you see. This is what you see. Usually we have a sign, but we, we came light a little. This is what you see on Google if you type in Jesus. Blonde hair, blue eyes. You know them. That's what you see when you type in Jesus on up. Google. My grandma had that picture. Yeah. You see that? In the, he said Jesus. That's not the Bible. Okay, we're gonna do that. This is what you see no. when you type in Jesus. So now, if you see this, what is your phone? Let's see what the Word of God says concerning Jesus the Christ. Does he look like that? Does he look like what Google says? Let's find out. The Come book. on. The book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 1. Uh -huh. The revelation of Jesus Christ. So the revelation of Jesus Christ, the, the root word of revelation is the reveal. So this is the revealing of Jesus Christ. Come on. Go to 14. Verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So John the Revelator. The description of Christ starts off with this. It said his head and his hairs were white like wool. So who on the planet Earth today has hair like wool? Black man. The black man. You right there in the black shirt. You got the hair of wool. That's right. So the Bible is letting us know what kind of hair texture he had. Come on. As white as snow. And his hair was fully white. So he had the full white afro. That's what the Bible is saying. Come right. on. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Meaning the whites of his eyes are red. That's what it's saying. When you drink wine or when you drink it, your whites of your eyes turn red. That's what I mean. He wasn't drunk, but he drank wine in moderation. That's what it's saying. Come on. And his feet. So wait, that's two strikes already on what we saw on Google. That's two strikes already. Bring it up. His hair was not stringy. It said woolly. Right, right. His eyes was not blue. It said red. Right. Come on. And his feet like unto fine brass. So now it said Christ's feet was like unto fine brass. You know, what color is brass? Brown. That's right. Brown. Brown. You're not getting anything different out of that. You can't get anything different. So Google, we saw a Caucasian man. Bro. We didn't see a man of brass on Google. But we saw a man. So it said, but the Bible said brass. But let's see what color the brass was. Watch, go, watch up. And his feet like unto fine brass. Uh-huh. As if they burned in a furnace. So you take anything and you burn it in a furnace. Well, how's it coming out? Is it coming? Black. That's dark. Try to say that Christ was a black man according what? to the Bible. That's, That's what right. The Bible says. So, what's going on with Google? Why is Google showing that? What's going on? It's because this is what happened. Right now, we in Babylon the Great. That's what we're trying to show you. We in Babylon the Great. That's why I said the the Lord and Savior was crucified here. The image of Christ was crucified here. That's why they got that image everywhere in all the churches. Everywhere you find that image, because that's the image of the devil. Right. They deceived the world with that image. That's what happened. And now our job is to teach the truth. Right. And the truth is to set y'all free. Right. Right. Hey, yes, the book of Revelation, chapter 11 and verse 8. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city. The day is the Israelites. The Israelites' bodies shall lie in the great street, come on, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt. So why is it called Sodom and Egypt? My brother, why is it called Sodom and Egypt? Why is this place called Sodom and Egypt spiritually? They touched on it earlier. Remember Dwayne Wayne's son, Magic Johnson's son? That's sodomy. That spirit is being pushed here on our people. Right. Now the Egypt goes into what? The bondage that our people served here. You understand? Read on. Where also our Lord was crucified. Where also our Lord was crucified. Again, the image of Christ, the true image was crucified here. Now, who did that? 
That means a great, if you have a city, you have a government that rules a city, right? So who rules this great city? Who rules it? Okay. So now, give me that in Job 9.24. Watch what the Bible calls them here. In Job 9.24. Watch this. The book of Job, chapter 9 and verse 24. The earth. Whoa, 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 whoa. The city. The earth. My brother. Who runs the entire globe? The entire world? Which they look like who? My sister. Sister's back here. Auntie. Who runs the earth? Which one today? Who runs the earth? The Lord. No. All the slamming earth. Who runs it? Control it. What nation of people controls the earth? What nation of people? Let me give you an example. Go back to Revelation 11 8 again. I'm going to go back so I can, I can get the point back. Watch this. The book of Revelation, chapter 11 and verse 8. I want to talk about this again. Watch. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street. The day is the Israelites. It's talking about when we're in slavery, it called us a dead people because we lost consciousness. I'm, I'm going to show you. I want you to answer when I read this part. Watch this. Of the great city. The Israelites shall be in that great city. Come on. Which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt. Uh huh. Where also our Lord was crucified. So now in this place, the true image was crucified here. So what people erased this and put up their image? You already said it. You're the same people. Like, right. So, so now they crucified this, the image of Christ here in this place. They put up their images. It's called the Renaissance period. Right. Okay. The Renaissance, they began, they began to uh, whitewash all the art in Spain, Russia, so forth and so on. Okay. Now, Job 9, 24 again. Watch this. It's going to tell you right here. Watch this. The book of Job. Now, sis. Now, we know who did this. Watch what the Bible calls them here. Read. The book of Job, chapter 9 and verse 24. Watch this. The earth, the entire globe, is given unto the hand of the wicked. The entire earth is controlled by the wicked. Now, you might think that's the spiritual demon Satan, but watch what it says. It's going to identify who the wicked is. Read it again from the top. The earth is given unto the hand of the wicked. Watch this. Watch, watch what he does. He, he, the wicked, covereth the faces of the judges thereof. They cover the faces of the judges thereof. Christ is the true judge. They covered the image of Christ. When it said, where also our Lord was crucified, same thing here. They covered it, meaning they erased his image. So like when you Google Jesus now, you pull up a what man? A Caucasian man with straight hair. No longer a black man with woolly hair. Read it again from the top. The book of Job, chapter 9 and verse 24. The earth is given unto the hand of the wicked. The wicked people is what it's saying. Control the earth. Go ahead. Yes, come on. He covereth the faces. He, this wicked people, do what? Covereth the faces of the judges thereof. Because look, we just read in Revelation 1, Christ has woolly hair. White woolly hair with skin looked like it was burning the furnace. Why do they have Caucasian images in every church? Because they covered the face of them. Right. Come on. If not, where and who is he? If the wicked is not the person that erased this image, where and who is he? The Chinese didn't do that. Right. The Japanese didn't do that. Right. It's the Caucasian man. That's they right. They called him the wicked. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models.